Hey guys, so this is the teacher field trip briefing for tomorrow's field trip. We're going to the Ushi Orient Art Gallery. So I'm hoping we will all leave the school at 1230. Uh, please tell the students to be at the East Gate before 1230 so we may leave promptly. Uh, we should also arrive at the gallery by around 1250. It should only be a 15, 20 minute drive. Uh, upon exiting the bus, teachers, please stand in front of the gate and have the students line up according to their grades. Uh, group uh, grade six uh, is on the left. Uh, we have these teachers, Wendy, Alex, Yoko, and Tiffany in charge of them. Uh, grade seven, Mr. David Straub, Anissa, and Vicky. Uh, grade eight, Lisa, Katie, Ricardo, and Ram. Grade nine, uh, Pania, Landon, and Shaikh. And grade 10, Parfait and Amber. So once the lines are formed, grade six and grade seven go in first. So I'm hoping their lines will be closest to the gate. Uh, they will be using the elevator to go upstairs. Uh, grade eight to 10 uh, plus my 60B students will go up the stairs. So upon reaching the exhibition hall, students will find their notebooks uh, that should be already prepared and will be waiting for them either in boxes or on the stage for them to pick up. Uh, and after taking their notebooks, they should sit down. Uh, they should also have a pencil and a pen. If they do not, there will be extras provided. Uh, when they sit down around the stage, please leave an open path uh, to step onto the stage uh, for me and for the other teachers. Uh, please do not let them wander around at this point. So once everyone has arrived, I will introduce the curator, Ms. Lu Laoshi, to everyone and thank her for letting us come. I will also remind all the students about to be their behavior expectations, and then uh, I will give them the instructions for the first round of activities. So Group C will stay for the instructions of picture bingo uh, before they go downstairs uh, to the classroom to start their activity. So uh, the trivia and Chinese painting activities, uh, it will require the assigned teachers to explain to the students as I will only be giving on uh, all the students instructions for picture bingo. So any student who is caught behaving disrespectfully will be taken outside to sit in the buses with Mr. Bremner. So here is our schedule. Group A from 110 to 140, you'll be doing picture bingo. Uh, and then uh, five minutes before 140, please tell all the students to give back the bingo sheets. They can't keep them. And then at 145 to 215, Group A, you'll be doing gallery trivia. And then 220 to 250, uh, Chinese painting. And then within the last five minutes uh, before 250, please have them clean up. Uh, group B will be doing picture bingo first and then Chinese painting, and then the gallery trivia, and the group C, Chinese painting, picture bingo, gallery trivia. So for the gallery trivia, in the last 10 minutes of the activity, please tell all the students to return uh, so you can give them the answers and the students can peer assess. So the group C students will go downstairs to the third floor art classroom to practice the Chinese painting first. Uh, it will be set up for about 50 to 60 students uh, and each group will be broken up to about 50 students each. So for picture bingo, each teacher is required to stand in a specific spot. Uh, you will receive 20 image cards, cards each labeled with a letter and the answer sheet. You will also get in a plastic bag 100 house tokens. So you will show your group of students one image at a time. The students cannot take the image with them. Uh, they will have a bingo sheet they must fill out uh, and they must return their answer written down on the bingo sheet. Uh, they cannot just yell out the answer to you or tell you the answer. They, you must remind them to just show you the answer on the bingo sheet. So if they are correct, uh, you give them one token and please circle on their bingo sheet. If they are wrong, uh, no tokens and also give them a slash over their answer so they can't come back later and tell you that they, they had the correct answer the first time. So students are only allowed to guess once whether they are correct or wrong, uh, they get the next image. So this activity is self-paced. Uh, the goal of the activity is to get the most images correct in the fastest time. And uh, because it's self-paced, that means you'll have various students coming to you at uh, different stages of, of the activity. You might have student one who's still trying to find the answer to the first one, and then maybe student five who've already found, uh, who are already on image C. So teachers are allowed to show the image cards to the students multiple times. 
each teacher will have about 10 students coming to you for the images. Um, they must get the answers and images from you only as uh, other teachers have different sets of bingo sheets. So after I give the instructions to everyone, uh, each teacher, please take the students that are assigned to you and take them to your assigned post and start the activity. Okay, in the last five minutes, I will start notifying everyone. Uh, students need to return the sheets to uh, their group teacher leader. Uh, they cannot keep it. The students who manage to get through all the pictures with the correct answers, um, they get to go into the secret garden uh, and the two teachers guarding the gate to the garden, they will be provided with the secret question for the students. And if the students uh, go into the garden and they manage to find the answer, then they have to write it down on their bingo sheet and they get an extra uh, 10 house points. So uh, this is the a floor map set up for picture bingo for group A and B. Uh, so this will be the first activity only. Um, all the teachers, you'll probably be, be standing in that spot for about, uh, about 30 minutes. Uh, and this is the layout. So Ricardo or Rem, uh, you will be guarding the gate to the garden. Uh, and I will provide you with the, uh, with the question on your uh, teacher instruction uh, sheet. So in, this is for group C when they do picture bingo uh, and Amber and Parfait, you will be guarding the entrance to the garden. Uh, while group C uh, is doing the picture bingo, you will also have group B uh, in the same exhibition hall doing their uh, second activity, which is the uh, gallery trivia. So for the gallery trivia, uh, students will get a list of questions based on the gallery artwork. All the artworks will be numbered. Students will go to the artwork number in the quiz, observe the image, and try to answer multiple choice questions. Students are expected to be in partners when they do this quiz. Uh, so teachers, please make sure you put the students into groups of two. Um, students will probably groan about this, but they do not have a choice. And this activity will only last 20 minutes. Uh, in the last 10, Students need to return to uh, their assigned teacher and uh, teachers will pick a spot and sit down with the students. Students will switch test sheets and uh, have their partner or another classmate correct their test sheet uh, while the teacher reveals the answer. So the trivia sheets need to be collected uh, and then the top three places in each grade will get house points uh, and this will be revealed in the daily briefing the following day. So teachers can also participate, uh, but they will be graded against each other and not against the students. So if teachers have no time to grade it themselves, I can grade it for you. So the first place uh, is 15 points, second place is 10, and third place is 5. So winning terms, if students are tied for the same place, they all get the same points uh, for their houses. And for scoring, so if students show you and uh, like students chose more than one answer, it is wrong. Uh, and if it's unclear which one they circled in their multiple choice, it is wrong. So for Chinese painting, teachers and assigned teachers uh, need to go to the third floor classroom for Chinese painting. The instructions will be in Chinese, so there needs to be a BIS teacher who is willing to volunteer and translate. If there is none, Ms. Gina Shen will be asked to fill in the role. So please make sure to clean up five minutes before it is time to change over to the next activity. So at 2.50, all students need to congregate at the stage again and sit down. At this time, the students will be asked to peer assess their partner's behavior during the gallery trivia. This will be a formative assessment uh, and uploaded onto their managed back. So at 3 o'clock, I will invite Ms. Lu Laoshi again onto the stage. Uh, and two of my uh, DP students will present a gift to her from BIS. And all the students will say a collective thank you, Ms. Lu Laoshi, and thank you, gallery staff. So students will line up by grade again, uh, and then 6 to 7 will go down the elevator, 8 to 10 will go down by stairs. So one teacher, please stand by the door of the bus and collect the peer assessments as students enter the bus. So once we return to campus, I will be at the gate to collect all the papers. And thank you everyone. Uh, I know this was very short notice, uh, and I would li really like to thank everyone for coming and helping with all of this. I really hope this turns out to be a successful and fun activity for the students and for the teachers.